What's going on YouTube? It's Trent here with Off-Road Odyssey. Uh, so today I wanted to do a leak test. This was kind of impromptu. Um, I'm, this is actually future me uh, shooting this part. I was washing my truck and I figured what better way to, to spend my time and get water spots in my truck than to shoot a video. Um, so if you like water spots, don't hit the like button or hit the like button. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I figured I would spend the time to shoot a quick video. Um, I'll do some inside video of that I shot with my 360 camera, just kind of following the water or where the water actually came in um, and when it came in. Uh, if you don't close the windows, water does get in the shell. So keep that in mind for the next time I try that out. Uh, they were cracked and I did not check. So that was the biggest culprit of the leaking. But Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, kind of impromptu, so sorry about the quality, but yeah, I wanted to get that out there. I'm just doing a quick leak test. I figured I was gonna wash it, so might as well see how it holds up to the rain. It's been through the rain. I haven't really had any problems with it that I've noticed, but I haven't really put it through the ringer. So I wanted to really try and see, you know, how well it will do if I actually am trying to get water in it uh, and what areas are kind of vulnerable so I can fix it. Uh, the place that I had it installed did a pretty good job of sealing it up. They put, you know, rubber, that malleable rubber sealant, uh, all the cracks, all the vulnerable spots normally. So <clears throat> I figured why not try? We'll uh, get some water going and see how it does. First, I'm just gonna start off with a basic, simple shower. I knew the portion between the tailgate and taillights were the most vulnerable, so you could see, uh, kind of spend some time spraying both sides where you actually see a small amount of water get in on both sides. Now the side window, I didn't actually know that this one was cracked, but you'll see a small amount of water actually gets in there, so you'll have to make sure they're really closed. This rear window or I guess front cab window. Um, it's hard to tell, but I believe this is where the small amount of water that was on the inside of the shell came in at. And over here, again, I sprayed directly into the cracked window and this is me realizing that it was open, but surprisingly only a small amount of water actually ended up getting in here. Surprisingly, only a small amount of water got in from the window here. So that was cracked. A little bit of water in here. Next, we're going to set it to jet. All right. So we'll see how it does. So I open up the back. Got some water on here. Uh, water up in here, which is to be expected. Open that up. So I'm really only noticing some water in this area like it maybe got in through here which is why that's a little damp and then again some water on this area uh, let's crawl in there and see what we can see some water up in here Probably because that window was open. I don't, I don't feel any. There's some water that got in here. It looks like. So that's really it now. So just, I mean, for as amount amount of uh, for the amount of actual. 
water that I was spraying. Very dark, very dark. So only a little bit of water in there, which I'm pretty impressed with, uh, considering that I was, you know, full straight stream to the seals. So um, really the only place that I saw that were leaking were uh, near the, you know, the main part where the tailgate and the window come closed, which kind of to be expected, you can't really seal that up. And then uh, in that window in the back against the actual cab of the truck. So that, I mean, didn't expect that one, but I'm sure that could be fixed pretty easily. Um, pretty good considering. So I'll look underneath and tear it apart, finish washing the truck and see if I notice anything else. But... So I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, I know it was quick rush kind of edit job there, but um, you know, I think it served its purpose. I just wanted to see if it leaked. And overall, I think this shell did a great job. Now it's only four, four and a half months that I've had it. Uh, so the seals haven't worn down, nothing like that. Uh, so we'll see how it does in time. I will perform that leak test here again, maybe in winter uh, or, you know, in the next six months or so, see how it holds up. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you can just do me a huge favor and uh, subscribe, hit that like button and turn that notification bell on for me, uh, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. But appreciate you watching and as always, have a great day. Peace.